Good morning guys, I just got to work and if you have not already noticed anything different about me, I got really spontaneous and decided to dye my hair dark and yes I did it myself um, which is crazy, I actually already confessed to my hairdresser, which is also my cousin-in-law, um, that I did it, but she is okay with it because I'm not stupid. I didn't use box dye or anything like that. Um, what I used is, um, demi-permanent, so, you know, it's not, like, penetrating the hair shaft or anything, um, and I actually use developer and everything. I use the Wella brand. They actually have that brand, um, at Sally's, which I was surprised because that's, like, a brand. I know that Sally's has professional stuff, but that's like one that she has used before um the wella brand so yeah i really really like it though it's so perfect for fall and i just sometimes i get in these moods and i'm just like i want to do something now and my biggest regret was not recording it because it was one hell of a process um it was also really scary because my hair was looking black initially um but you know we got it to the perfect color because this is exactly what i wanted it actually has like some um reddish looking hues to it Every Monday we have a meeting first thing in the conference room with just like our whole team. It's an intercompany meeting because the company that I work at has several different companies, an app um, agency like developer, and then a consulting strategy group for marketing. And then there's a few e-commerce brands that are run within. So we always have a meeting with the whole team, so I'm gonna go to that. lunchtime and I'm having some leftovers from last night. We just made um, basically just taco meat with white rice and then there's a ton of hot sauce in this. Super good. I didn't bring any lettuce with me so I don't have lettuce unfortunately or tomatoes. I can't do this with one hand. I'm starving. I can't wait to eat this. I only brought one tortilla so I'm gonna eat the rest with a fork. So one of my tasks today was to get an email drip campaign going and finally just made this live. So this is going to go out to all the potential leads that we get and hopefully end up converting people to sign up for a consulting session called the Strategic Mastermind. So happy. Finished work finally. I'm actually so like brain fried right now because I was working on blog post and just a lot of writing and research in order for me to do that. I just can't wait to be home and I was gonna go to the gym but oh no I don't want to make an excuse but I really don't want to go. I'm tired. I am so proud of myself. Okay, the lighting's terrible right now, but I just finished working out 45 minute, or actually only 42 minutes, all upper body, um, but I'm just so proud of myself. Here's my stats for today, and to think I almost didn't even go. I had a good workout, and I'm really proud of myself because I seriously almost bailed. Like, I was prepared to not go. I'm home, I'm just trying to shower, I'm about to hop in, and Chad's got dinner almost ready. Chad is making dinner. And these are the sweet things that Chad randomly does for me. He, just, he got me these pumpkin cookies because I'm um, his pumpkin. He's so cute. 
Also, these cookies look amazing. I'm really excited. Have some candy corn. If you don't like candy corn, mm. you can judge me. I love candy corn. I love you. I love you. Ooh, Ooh salmon man. and asparagus. And quinoa. It's about 9.30 now. We watched two episodes of um, Outlander, which we haven't watched in a little while because we were like watching Dahmer. We like took a little break from it. We just went back to it and it's so good. Like it's so easy to pick back up. The storyline is just so good. Dad's letting Trooper out right now for the night and I'm about to read my book. I'm reading Verity right now by Colleen Hoover. It's a pretty good book. And I'm going to bed. And I'm gonna set my alarm for like 5.30 and hopefully go to the gym first thing in the morning because I don't wanna go after work again. It was just like getting home that late sucked. Good morning guys. I don't know if you can really see me right now, but I'm heading to the gym at 6 a.m. I'm really proud of myself for getting up. It helps when Chad gets up in the morning with me because he does CrossFit classes um, at 6 a.m. and so like it's just a lot easier to wake up in the morning when your partner is getting up with you because then I'm like, okay, well, if he can get up, I can get up. I'm back home, here are my stats. I need to go take a shower and start getting ready. I'm gonna make a protein shake really quick and drink this while I'm in the shower. And I used to always mix this with water, but I've been doing almond milk because I think it tastes better. I don't know, it just makes it taste more like a milkshake and less like a protein shake, I think. It's actually Chad who told me to um, start doing almond milk because he does almond milk in his. Okay, I'm gonna hop in the shower. My hair is like really greasy and I'm gonna show you guys how even going to the gym you can still um, wash your hair like only twice a week. Um, that's what I do because there's this trick that I learned with dry shampoo. It's not just using dry shampoo but it's an extra step. So before I get in the shower I'm gonna spray my hair with dry shampoo and then I'll show you guys what I do after I get out. And then for clarification, I use the Batiste Bear Dry Shampoo. I like this because it has like a really minimal smell and doesn't really make your hair white or anything. And it actually absorbs the most um, of this like greasiness that I get in my hair. Um, and then I also use Living Proof, but I'm a little more sparingly with this because this is $30 a bottle. Um, so I just use a little bit of that at the end when I'm styling just to give it some volume again. So I try to like do it in little like layers because otherwise um, you'll have spots that are greasy and spots that aren't. And then I'm gonna let that sit um, and put my hair up in a bun. And it'll look something like whatever this is. We're gonna get in the shower. Okay, I'm out of the shower and we are going to take the hair out now. And before you brush it or anything, you wanna just take a blow dryer. This is the secret trick. I use the dry bar one and it has this attachment for it so it really kinda of helps you like get in between the hair versus just blowing directly on it. And then to give it a little boost, I take some of the living proof, as I said before, sparingly. A little goes a long way with this stuff though. It really is worth the money. I actually really like the darker one too, which I have right here, but um, this one's like almost out. Just snuggle up and get some sleep. I'll see you later. My mobile ordered a Dobio espresso, so I am in the Starbucks drive-thru grabbing my coffee. Whenever I drink a double shot of espresso, I swear I have a better day. Like I feel just overall better. So it's hard not to get one every day. <laughs> you know what I'm really excited for again though is the um, chestnut praline. She's perfect. They actually did a splash of cream. This is like the exact color. I love it. It's after one o'clock now and I'm eating some cheese and crackers. I just brought Colby Jack cheese and then these um, organic crackers from Greenwise from Publix. So I'm eating these. 
and I'm working on blog content right now. I also brought some fruit, which sounds so good. <laughs> sounds like somebody's dying out there. Hopefully they're okay. Um, but we are about to have a strategic mastermind meeting in like 30 minutes. So I'm going to watch the recap for the internal meeting because I wasn't in that meeting. Um, so they just like screen recorded it and sent it to me so I could kind of catch up. Um, but the strategic masterminds that we do here are basically like these two part series. It's a consulting session for businesses and it's super cool because we all work together as a team to kind of build a plan in terms of marketing for them. So I'm gonna watch this video and kind of work in the background and then I have that meeting at two and that meeting will be like, I think an hour and a half or maybe two hours and then um, a few more hours and it'll be time to go home. <laughs> I need to hurry up and get in my car because it's about to start pouring down rain any second, I can tell. I'm so tired, you guys. I didn't vlog anything because I came home and I was on the phone with my sister for like, no joke, two hours. Just walking and talking. And now I'm in bed finally and about to go to sleep. But I'm going to read some more of this book and get to bed so that I can get my rest for tomorrow. I decided to take today off of the gym. One, because it's cold this morning, which is really exciting actually, but also because I just feel like my body needs a break. I'm just really sore all over and I feel like my body needs a rest day. So that's what we're doing. I just put moisturizer all over my face. Um, it's the um, First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Moisturizer. And I am using this Gua Sha. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but I've been doing this and I feel like it helps depuff my face in the morning. This and my ice roller, but I decided to do this this morning and this is the um like rose quartz one from skin gym i want to give a really quick shout out to tom's this morning because they sent me some of their new shoes and if you're like me you didn't even know that tom's had such a huge selection of shoes i always just thought they had their traditional tom's which we all used to have a pair of but they actually have so many other shoes and these ones actually have some lint on them so just disregard that but because i already wore them but these are such cute wedges i love these for fall they're gonna go with so many different outfits i wore them with a few different work outfits already and i'm probably gonna wear them today actually because I feel like this goes with my fall outfit. I specifically picked these out for work so that's kind of like the theme around this. And these ones have super comfortable insoles. They're made with their Ortholite Comfort Foam insoles which is perfect for me because you guys know I've been having foot issues lately. Um, but look how cute these are. Just like classic white sneakers. I love how they look. They're actually a white like leather material. And then this last pair I picked out is actually a lot closer to what you probably remember Tom's looking like except these are even cooler. So again they have that Ortholite foam. They're earth friendly and then there's really pretty just like neutral color. So I'll link all three of these in the description in case you want to check them out. Thank you so much Tom's for sending me these. Florida for the next three days <laughs> and I'm so excited about it so I am going to Starbucks this morning but not to get my usual iced espresso or iced coffee I am getting a hot coffee because it is the season and it's 60 degrees outside and it's cold and I'm wearing a sweater and I'm actually not even sweating secured the goods and actually so glad that I didn't want a pumpkin spice latte or something that would have had to go to the bar because it was so packed. Like everyone has the idea that they want Starbucks because it's cold this morning. There's a TV in my office, so I usually put on Spotify with some chill beats while I'm working. This is the best playlist. It's Focus Flow. Really good relaxing music. later right now I just got finished a meeting and I came outside because it's so nice outside and luckily we still get Wi-Fi out here there's a bunch of tables it's kind of like a little sitting area um, but I just recorded a loom basically pitching my idea 
to okay my camera just died um, i'm recording the rest of this clip on my phone um i have another camera battery too but it's in there at my desk um but i just recorded a loom promoting my like or pitching my idea of creating this exclusive network for entrepreneurs it's basically going to be like a blog but so much more than that um because i want to create like a hub of information um centered around marketing um their like strategic mastermind divine digital which is their app development agency um as well as some other uh, partners that they are affiliated with like just like the source for all the information about that also for lead generation and social media and stuff too but like it, this is so genius i can't really like spill all the information yet because i'm not really sure if we're doing this um but i just recorded a loom like promoting the whole thing i made like this really pretty presentation and yeah that's what i've been working on today we just take a second to appreciate my little press on nails that I got at Target. These are just the Impress brand, but they actually look really cute and I just took off my black nails. I just want to redo them. One of them broke and I didn't feel like taking the time to do them. So I had these little press ons that I got a few weeks ago at Target, decided to just pop them on and they're so cute. But I wanted to take a second to do a little haul from It Cosmetics. They were kind enough to send me some new products. I got some skincare stuff and some makeup stuff. And I'm a huge fan of It Cosmetics. I actually use one of their foundation brushes a lot. And then the original It Cosmetics CC cream that I think everyone used. But now they have a new one called the CC Nude Glow. So I'm really excited to try it. But I just want to show you guys what they sent. We got the Bye Bye Pores Serum with 10% glycolic acid and hyaluronic acid. I've actually not used a whole lot of It Cosmetics skincare stuff. So this is kind of exciting for me i've only ever used their makeup but they sent their confidence in an eye cream super peptide anti-fatigue treatment so this is an eye cream and then this is the matching moisturizer it says it's for all skin types and it's supposed to be super moisturizing has really good reviews online so i'm pretty excited obviously the nude glow i can't wait to try this i picked the shade medium hopefully that's the right shade they also included this brush which is exciting it's dual sided I used to love the original CC cream, so I'm excited to try this one. And then we got the Bye Bye Under Eye. This is their super full coverage under eye concealer. And this stuff is like super, super full coverage. And then last but not least, this I thought was really cool. It's an eyeshadow stick and I got it in this like warm brown color called Tenacious Tawny. Perfect fall color and since I don't typically wear a lot of eyeshadow on my eyes, at least during the week, that'll be the perfect little quick step. Just add something in terms of eyeshadow. So if you guys want to check out any of these products, I'm going to leave all of them linked in the description. And FYI, they're having their friends and family sale going on right now. 25% off site-wide with no code required and it's only now through October 28th. So you just have a few days left. Go shop, get some It Cosmetics, and thank you guys for sending me this stuff. I'm a big fan, so this is kind of exciting. Chaz cutting up some broccoli, and I don't even know what else we're eating. Grilled pork tenderloin. That's what we did first. What even is that? Pork loin. <laughs> it's like an Italian herb. Why'd that you do is, two? Because I wanted enough for uh, lunch tomorrow. Do I like pork loin? That one looks like a salmon. It does have that color because it's got that barbecue rub on it. My nails so look so cute. This is my dog, everybody. Taking his rounds. Oh, he's in the wild right now. I saw our sewage pipe. It's not a sewage pipe. What is it? It's a well. Oh. That's it. Shake. Oh, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. Beanie?
played a bunch of Elder Scrolls and now we are going to bed. And if you're not already subscribed, be sure to click that subscribe button and I'll see you in my next video.